गाइस वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट या पे बिगिनर्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द बैच एट्रीब्यूट्स फंक्शनैलिटी अवेलेबल इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनेमिक थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव विद दैट नोट लेट्स गेट इन टू द एपिसोड हाय गाइस वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट या पे बिगिनर्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज फर्स्टली अपॉलॉजीज फॉर नॉट रिलीजिंग एनी वीडियोज फॉर ऑलमोस्ट अ मंथ नाउ uh i was very busy with my work and my travel but i promise you that moving forward you will get videos lot more quicker so i plan to release at least one video a week moving forward for sure so you will be receiving lot more videos on new topics on finance related topics on advanced firewalls management etc i'm i'm working on all all of them but anyways uh today's topic is again going to be the continuation of some of our previous episode where we were discussing about the batch numbers in microsoft dynamic 365 so today we are going to focus on the batch attributes feature available in microsoft dynamic 365 so we all know that the batch numbers uh have ability to capture a lot of details like expiry date the self advised date the uh, uh, the manufacturing date the country of origin and a lot of a lot of dates that we have already seen in some of our previous uh, three episodes related with batch numbers but in some industry these fields this predefined fields for the batch numbers are not enough we might need some custom field or some additional information to be stored against a batch in some industry like pharmaceutical industry where i might need to track the temperature the concentration of a liquid or even uh, uh, the moisture level of a specific material uh, uh, which are the which are the part of the batch or even the component or formulas uh, of the product which are uh, within a batch so in such cases we might need to use a feature such as the batch attributes to define those additional fields and then capture those information related to the batch so in today's episode we are going to look into how do we create those batch attributes and tag those batch attributes against the batch number so let's get into the video and see how do we do all of this uh so in the inventory management module if you go under the batch section we've already discussed about the batch disposition code about uh, the impact of the code on the quality orders and many more scenarios related with batch so two things we missed to cover is a batch attributes and the batch attribute group so let's first create some batch attributes in the system so temperature so it's possible for your batch attributes to be a string or integer fraction which is again same as integer but a decimal value uh, a value like a enum which we can select from a drop down which is a predefined value uh, date is going to be kind of a date field within the batch attributes in this case i'm going to keep it as a fraction because my temperature can be a decimal as well it's possible for us to key in the minimum and maximum temperature and a target value as well and based on the minimum and if it goes beyond the minimum maximum limit there is also a tolerance action by, by providing a warning or not allowed meaning error to the user okay in this case i'm not going to uh, uh make it complicated uh, let's keep it very simple so in this case my temperature the minimum needs to be 20 and the maximum needs to be 42 for that particular batch so the next one is going to be concentration level of the uh, of the whatever the batches let's say it's it's a liquid so i want to measure the concentration level so in this case it's going to be integer and the concentration level needs to be between somewhere between uh let's say 10 and 20 okay and let's also put another value um let's say moisture So 
so the moisture level needs to be under a specific range as well uh, let's say it is between 20 to 35 okay so the moisture is 20 to 35 10 to 20 20 to 45 40 42 sorry so that's the batch attributes uh, let's make it 10 to 20 okay 20 to 35 okay let's save it and then we have something called as a batch attribute group in the uh, we can create a group called characteristics let's say for example and you are adding all your batch as a part of this group uh, be, please be mindful that whatever sequence that you are trying to add here will be the sequence displayed for you uh, within the product as well so if you want to change the sequence you can change it right here concentration and that's good so i have created a batch attributes i have created an attribute group as well so now let me try to get and pick an item which needs to be a batch number tracking dimension enabled so i think i already have this item which is uh, having a tracking dimension group of batch number enabled so for this item let's go and uh, specify the there are product specific and customer specific attributes that you can specify so in this case i'm going to make it as a product specific but it can even be a customer specific attributes which is applicable only for one of the customer so um, in this case if you are going to add attribute by attribute you can choose table but i have an attribute group defined so i'm going to choose my attribute group and save it okay so attribute group will automatically bring in all the attributes that we have defined against the attribute group so now let's predefine a batch number for this particular product let's say that it is uh, zb0001 that's the batch number okay so that batch number if you go here and load the item at uh, item attributes click on it it will automatically load all the attributes within the attribute group that we mentioned within the item so here are all the attribute uh, that we have mentioned in the group so i can give a value specific to that batch so the concentration for that batch i expect it to be 15 the, the moist level in that batch is i'm expecting it to be 25 the temperature of the batch i'm expecting it to be 37 okay so that's done so now we do not have any inventory for that particular batch so let's try to boost the inventory so for the inventory level increase i am going to use the purchase order register or maybe you can even use the inventory adjustment journal which is the fastest way to boost the inventory so let's go and Uh, create an inventory adjustment journal to boost the inventory so it's z zero uh, let me copy the item ah sorry i am in a wrong legal entity let me first try to change the legal entity uh, meanwhile i'll copy the item number let's get into the inventory management Entry adjustment. Okay. Let's put this 
item number and we have to also add the site warehouse and batch site and warehouse is there there's only one batch for this item which is that one and i am going to purchase 10 as a part of that particular batch validate it and post it okay so now we have also increased the inventory so if i now go back to this particular product and within the released products um, if i check this batch there is one batch and you already know that there are batch attributes like for moist it's uh, 25 is a value of this particular batch and um, then you also have your um, customer specific batch attributes that you can define here if you want so in this case um, you can uh, define the attribute uh, group or you know type of attributes and the customer table maybe meaning uh, if you want to go with one customer or multiple customer it could be even customer specific attributes so we are yet to see the customer area later so i will not be able to do it now but you can just try it yourself there could be a batch attribute specific to one particular customer so um, it is also possible let's say there is one particular customer asking for a batch which is of a specific attributes it's also possible for us to quickly search for such a batch number in this case i have only one batch number that i got through the inventory adjustment so the search doesn't make sense but in in a case like you want something with a specific moist level uh, let's say of 25 or whatever category it is um, then you can still go ahead and search here and the system will narrow down to a specific uh, batch number which is matching with the search criteria that you want so then you can go ahead pick the batch number and uh, um, sell it to a specific customer if needed so that is the search inventory functionality that is uh, uh, specific to the batch attribute search so these are all different areas or functionalities of the batch attributes in dynamic 365 so other than that the batch attribute also have a small impact on another area in the system which is within the inventory management under the quality control we've already seen about the quality management right so in here we have let's say i've created a checklist and these are the inspection checklists right so you can even map a specific checklist just in case guys if you do not know about the quality management the concept of test groups and all that all that then you have to watch my video on the quality management so you understand it better okay so then you can watch this so you you get a better clarity on what is quality management all about so under the checklist you can map a specific quality checklist against an attribute in this case i'm going to map it against the uh, moist and you can even update it that is uh, when you are doing a quality inspection and updating the moist with a specific value during your testing process this value will automatically be also updated within your batch attributes so it's like an automatic process so you can also do that so you need for 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 you to automatically update the batch um, attribute value you need to uh, key uh, check this checkbox so uh, once you do all of that then you will be able to go and let's say quickly create a quality order firstly i have created a quality association which is that one for creation of automatic quality order uh, for our item okay so that's going to be my quality group and it also has a attribute connection so with this setup let's try to quickly create a purchase order uh, so that's the vendor customer 
so the quality order is having criteria that it will automatically be created uh, during the registration process so let's take it as 10 and uh, let me first confirm and then do the registration of the batch confirm and registration so let's pick the batch number which is 3 in this case and I'm going to confirm the registration. So this process will automatically trigger a quality order in the system, which is ending with 64. So let's go to the inventory management, quality orders, ending with 64, that one. So in this case, I uh, even under the test, you will see the maximum limit is only 35. So beyond 35, the result will be considered as failed. Below 20, result will again be considered as failed. So for all 10 quantities, the result is going to be, let's say, 22 in this case, validated, considered as a pass. And uh, for the engine oil, uh, for all 10 quantity, sorry, 10 quantity, it's pass again so by doing so and by validating the check you will be seeing that the uh, the value of the moist will be carried into the batch that is into the batch of the item so this is another way that you can link the uh, batch attributes with the quality orders checklist which i wanted to show you so these are all possible scenarios that we can do using the batch attributes guys so that's it for today see you again with another brand new topic in the next episode until then bye